Naruto. Okay, I'm gonna get deep. It's a famous anime uh, worldwide, and I got into it by watching the Rock Lee versus Gara fight, and that was episode 48. And eventually, uh, a year and a bit later, I started watching the series. So even at the weigh-ins, at the weigh-ins, when I hit the Rock Lee stance, that was the ones. That was the one I hit. He stood there with his arms folded like Gara, and I don't even think he knows who Gara is. So then I posted this morning, you know, like I got my my crew, Black Print FX and Cut Craft. Shout out to those guys because they just kind of hit this highlight up of just me and my Rock Lee stance and him as Gara, and just the similarity. Like it was just like it was just supposed to be that way. For me, it was cool, and I'm like. Man, I'm playing this shit for real. <laughs> and in the and, and I, I can't remember what the sequence was at, at the end of the first round, but something happened and he missed. But I know it looked cool. It looked cool. That's what. It, and it's those moments for me. It's, like I said, this was my title fight. I got to beat the guy that took me into the you know inspired me to get into the shit. But moments like that, uh, like if, I'm sure I've seen a picture already with me standing there with that stance, him and him right there, or. There'll be more. Those little moments in time, the photos, the videos, like that. I like those. And yeah, I won't say I live for those, but I like to collect those moments. And that was a cool moment for me. Who's your favorite Naruto character? I'm also a big fan. Rock Lee. Rock, Rock Lee. Lee, just because of that first fight. Um, and definitely, he's going to go on my calf, on the back of my calf as a character. I've got, I've got Toph on my forearm from Avatar, so. Yeah, Rock Lee's my friend. And I, I like him because he works so hard because obviously he's a Taijutsu specialist, everything physical, because he doesn't have any, any ninjutsu. So I like the way he works. I love his ninja way. I love the way he put, you know, I like the story behind him. And I like it when he gets drunk and uses the drunken fist. That's cool. So I respect that. Thanks, bro. Okay, we can drink some before the fight like Costa. <laughs> oh, I can't sleep. Full bottle. <laughs> should be right. I know the drunken fist. <laughs> Another drunken fist? What is this anime series, Naruto? I've only it's seen it much, online. It takes too long. It's a 720 episode fucking... Yeah. 720 20, episodes? Yeah. I'm geeking out right now. <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> Shout out to John Jones. Are you, sorry. <laughs> Do you call you nerd? Yeah. I know. Oh, my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> nerd is not negative, man. Of course. I'm, I'll take it. I'm a fucking yeah. nerd. I got nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills. <laughs> All that. Is it fair to say you're a bit of a nerd? Yeah. Anime. Anime. Fuck yeah, I'm about that life. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm about that life. Nerd shit. This is Kurama. The okay. Nine-Tailed Force, the demon fox from Naruto. And you see the eyes of Kurama? You see yeah. the eyes of my car? Very you see similar. the color? Same thing. And it took me four years to watch 720 episodes. Oh, wow. So that's the 720S. I'm trying to like, uh, you guys, I'm out here. I'm representing you guys. Like, look at my chest. You know, I kind of just let them know, like, I'm, I'm here. Like, don't just take take notice. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Was that the Naruto one you did into the 100%. Audio? I came in there, smoke bomb, boom, ninja run. Because I told you, it's real ninja shit. And to everyone that keeps saying my hand signs are fake, look, I've been drilling these for a long time. These are not fake hand signs. These are for weebles, all the anime nerds. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, they keep saying, oh, that bullshit, you're just fucking doing stupid hand signs. Like, I, I drill these things, and I get them inside. It's, it's for my chakra to infuse them and make sure I can, like, channel it in that moment. You fuck with Naruto? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm <laughs> there. I like your ninja way. Backstage, when I was getting ready, I was like, should I be this calm? No nerves, nothing. Normally, I like a little bit of nerves, but I could feel the chakra building up, and I'm like, Phew. it was just getting pushed like down easier. And I was like, okay, all right, let's go. And that's fuel. Dude, that was the death note. I wrote his <laughs> name in the death note. And exactly, within round two, Shinigami got him. You ever heard about an anime called Death Note? Anyone? Hands up? Yeah, so he's the Grim Reaper, right? I have a Shinigami with me. And I just had to write his name because I knew. I was like, he's not going to last. I just wrote his name in the death note. And those who know the rules of the death note, they know there's a certain time frame that after your name's written in the death note, the Shinigami will get you. So yeah, it is what it is. And I had the idea of, I think it's just something that's been infused through Hollywood, that you got to be this Jack Rambo motherfucker to be a fighter and be a tough guy because that's what you see in movies. That's what you grow up watching. So everyone still sees that. And it's just embedded in them that they think that's that's a bad motherfucker. 
going to stash the guy. He's like, nah. And look at me, oh, he's so skinny, bro. He's so, I'm going to break his face, bro. I'm going to break him. You got no power, bro. Well, I don't need power. Everyone has power. I have precision. Izzy, uh, is there a reason you specifically wore an Akatsuki shirt out today? I'm feeling dark for this fight. I'm feeling very Akatsuki, very um, Yakuza, if you will, you know? He's made of steel. <laughs> Amaterasu, black flame. In the beginning, he, uh, yeah, when I threw the jab, I remember he slipped. And my jab went past. He tried to do a, like a Ray Sefo time respond counter overhand. But Sharon Gun, I see these things. I see these things. So, um, yeah, he, he, uh, these guys are good, but I'm better. I know I'm better. I think Jared's going to dust Robert Whitaker, and I look forward to fighting him. What we said in the, in the DMs, he said he wants to get it done like Naruto and Sasuke. And I said, I look forward to that. We know you have the Nantel Fox seal on your stomach. Yes, with. with. <laughs> The Ocean and Moon Spirit from Avatar. So I was all. about to say. Yeah. So is Naruto your all-time favorite anime? This is what this is. These are the questions I get asked yeah. to ask you. It's uh, top three, definitely top three. But it just depends on how I feel. You can't. I can't have a top one. What specifically about anime drew you to it? Was it the style? Was it the storylines? Was it the, the the heroes, the characters, whatever? Or just a combination of it? The fight scenes. The fight scenes is what drew me to anime. But then the stories and the depth of the characters kept me there. Is the rumors are that um, the live-action remake of The Last Airbender, Katara, is going to be on. the older sister yeah. to Sako. What do you make of the age change there? Oh, what? I think they should just keep it the same. I've had over 100 fights. I'm not a fucking baby in this game. I've been doing this shit for a long time. For a goddamn long time. And I'm still fresh. For me, it's about the victories, the champion, like the, the, the names you collect, the scalps you take along the way. If I had lost this tonight, God forbid, if I had lost this tonight, I wouldn't care about this. I would have been sad I lost the fight. That's all I care about is fighting. This is just nice because, you know, cheddar makes it better. It brings more money, more notoriety, all that kind of shit. But yeah, I just keep doing what I'm doing and my legacy will be cemented in time.